Hey guys, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine, and we are going to make um, a tree tonight, a little tree, not a big tree. Just say hey, won't you hop on? Um, just say hey, once you get on. Hopefully I can see comments. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Mandy. Yeah, I can see, um, I was in my group, um, yesterday doing the turkey thing and I couldn't see comments. So <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I was hoping I could see them tonight. So it looks good. I can see them. Hey, Wendy and Sarah. Hey, Lynn, you're so sweet. Okay. So we are going to make a tree, but it's going to be a little tree. Well, maybe not that little, but it's going to be a tree. Okay. Um, and we're going to use, Hey, Colin. Hey, Dana. Yes, Dana, I enjoyed it too. I really enjoyed it too. I'm good, I'm good. Thank you, Sarah, for the stars. You're all so sweet. Okay, so we're gonna make a tree. And I've only practiced this one other time besides what I'm just gonna do right now. Thank you, Denise, um, for the stars. So, um, hey, Charisse. And um, so we're gonna attempt to do a tree, a bead tree, okay? So I've got a bunch of beads here. Thank you, Ellen. Hey, Nancy. Okay. And, um, so I'm going to do it a couple of times so you can kind of see, but I've, I went ahead and painted all my beads. Um, the green is this moss, Waverly moss color right there. Hey, Lisa, Angie from Connecticut. And this, um, y'all, this is like my new favorite color right here. Um, it is an acrylic paint at Target. Oh, good, Wendy. Um, it's called warm metal and I absolutely am in love with this color. Um, it's not gold and it's not silver. Oh, thank you, Samantha. It is from another crafter friend. Um, uh, their page is called simple abundance and, um, I wore it before, but it says channel your flannel and I, it's like my absolutely my favorite shirt. I love it. Um, tree making week. <laughs> yes. Yes, Agnes, it is. But this color is not gold and it's not silver. It's just, it's called warm metal and it's from Target. And it is like my new fave. It's like, I want to paint everything with this color. I love it. It's gorgeous. Um, yes, the gnome shirts are in stock. So you can go over to Simple Abundance and you can get your cute channel, your flannel gnome shirt. I absolutely love this shirt. Um, so anyway, so I painted some of the moss and I painted some that um, warm metal from Target. And then I've got some brown, and then I've got, these are, this is a apple barrel, and it's parakeet. It's the perfect, um, the perfect lime green, in my opinion. It is like Grinch green, okay? And then I've got some little ones I've painted white, and of course, brown. Um, so we are going to make a tree. Thank you, Cheryl, for the stars. Um, so I'm going to do it more than once, um, so... We can kind of, uh, kind of get the hang of it. Does that make sense? Yeah, the warm metal is beautiful. Oh, Deidre don't have a target. <laughs> okay, so I've got a piece of jute, or you can use whatever kind of string that you want, okay? And I'm like that girl that's going to cut more than I need, because I can always cut it off. I just can't add it to. So, um, it's actually, you know, from your nose to the end of your tip fingertips is a yard, approximately. So, I've probably got... That's a yard, and I've probably got, I don't know, four feet. I don't, I don't know, but I'm not going to use all that. So, um, but we're going to, I like to have more than enough. So, we are going to start off by, so y'all, y'all hang tight with me. Um, oh, we're going to put some tape on the end of our string, because we're going to string, um, thank you, Pamela. It's Simple Abundance. There's some fellow crafters, some friends of mine, and they have this shirt, and I absolutely love it. Um... I'm killing it with the cuteness. Thank you. That needs to be a shirt, don't it? Killing it with the cuteness. Thank you for the stars, Vicky. Y'all are sweet. Okay. So I'm just rolling up um, scotch tape on the end of my jute. Just so it doesn't get all frazzled and frayed and all that stuff. Because we're going to be threading beads from both ends. So you'll see in just a second. But we're going to make a tree. And I saw this on Pinterest and I had to try it. And I'm like, I gotta, um, hey Amanda, I've gotta show y'all how to do this. Cause I've tried it already. 
and see if I could actually make it happen. And I did. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this is like where, um, where Pinterest comes to life, okay? So I'm gonna, um, I got my two ends and I'm gonna thread, I'm gonna do the green tree first. So this is Moss Paint by Waverly that I just painted my wood beads ahead of time. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. I brightened your Mondays. Was that Trish? I think said that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and thread one bead on my on my uh, jute string like this. Okay, and I'm gonna put it in the center. All right. So now I've got my bead. I'm gonna try to hold everything where y'all can see it. All right. So there it is on my string. It's going just like that. I'm gonna take this piece, just one of the ends. It doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna go around to the other side and I'm gonna thread it back through, or I say I am, with my scotch tape not wanting to, to do right, hold on. There I got it, okay. So I just went, took this side and went back over into the bead to where it makes a little, um, you'll see. It makes a little slip knot like this, okay? That's all I did put it on the string. I took this end and went back through the bead and pulled it through. And then you have this little loop at the top. Okay. So we got that. And now why is that so short? I don't know, but we got to fix it. Can't be having that short. Whew. Okay. I'm just making it to where the sides are even. So I don't know what I did. Hang on. So I've only done this one other time. So <laughs> So we're gonna see. Okay, so it's still in the middle. And this is kind of forgiving, I've already found this out. Um, all right, so then we're gonna go two beads. So either either side, it doesn't matter which side, you got the bead in the center, okay? Doesn't matter which side, just pick a side. I'm gonna do the other side since I did that other side. So, love my shirt. It is from Simple Abundance and it says channel your flannel. There are some crafty friends of mine and I absolutely adore this shirt. And you can go onto her website because they have been restocked and they you can get your own shirt. I love it. Okay, so then we're gonna take one more bead and one more bead. So this is two. We're making a little pyramid out of beads, okay? And I'm gonna thread it all the way up and I'm gonna put it right under or right on top or whatever you wanna say, the first bead, okay? So then, I'm gonna take the other side, okay? And I'm trying to think how I did this. Yeah, I'm gonna go through. No, that ain't right. Hang on, let me think about it a second. Yeah, that is right. I'm gonna take the other side, not the one I fed the beads on, and I'm gonna go through both of those beads, okay? And you can kind of pull them apart. My tape's not wanting to hang in there with me. You can kind of pull the beads apart because you can always pull it tight in the end, okay? So don't think, you know, you gotta have it tight the whole time because you can pull it tight. I'm just trying to fit my, there we go. And I'm gonna pull it tight. So I'm kind of holding them together and pulling it tight and trying to keep it all straight at the same time, which is a challenge. Okay, so now we have that, okay? We have three. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do three on the next row. So I'm gonna take three beads and feed them on this other side. I'm just kind of going back and forth. You don't have to go back and forth, but I'm just gonna go back and forth. So that's one, two, three. And we're gonna do this several times so y'all can see it more than once, okay? So I'm gonna lay it here and I'm just gonna kind of pull it tight. Then I'm gonna take the other side and I'm gonna go through those beads, okay? So let me get this through one. That's why you put the tape on the end because it's kind of hard to feed it through or if you wanna use a big needle, you can do that too. Um, I have a big needle over here, but I just did the scotch tape on the ends. It just kind of makes it pointy. I will welcome Karen if you're new. We'd love for you to hang out with us on Mondays and Fridays at 7.30 Central Time. Okay, so now 
I have, let me pull it tight. So you can kind of play with it and pull the sides and get it all tight and, and get the beads to where you want them to sit. So now you have this, okay? So we're, we're making a tree, we're getting there. Okay, so I still got these ends and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add four on the next row. Hey Sherry from Tennessee. So you're gonna need um, 15 beads for your tree and then you're gonna need two for the trunk. So that's why I have some brown ones. So we're on the fourth. Um, um, thank you, Nancy. We're on the fourth row. So we got four beads on this row. We're only gonna do five. So we don't want our tree to be too big. Okay, so I threaded them on this side, okay? And now I'm gonna take this side and run them through those beads. So you're kind of, in a sense, weaving them, sort of, kind of. But you're also, like, making it tight and weaving them together while they'll stay together. Okay. But this is so stinking cute. And um, we're going to change it up a little bit because we're going to do different threads and different kinds of um, different colors and stuff like that. So, okay. So... Now I pulled it tight. So now I have, that's the top of my tree. Let me get it tight. Okay, so there's my fourth row. <laughs> I ain't pull it tight enough, hold on. You should have seen me doing the first one. Okay, so there's the, there's the tree so far upside down. So I got, I got one, two, three, and then four. So this is gonna be the last row, okay? So, like I said, you need 15 to make the tree part, and then you need two for the trunk part. Hey, Vicki. All right, so I'm doing, that's two, three, four, and five. Oh, and this is a seed bead technique too? Oh, okay, gosh, bless you if you work with seed beads because they are tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay, so there's my, my five, and I'm gonna lay it down, and then I'm gonna take the other tail over here, and I'm gonna go through these beads. So that kind of cinches it all together. Two, I got two more. And this goes pretty fast once you do it one time and then you the second time gets easier and easier okay all right so here is i'm gonna hold it upside down and then i'll try to straighten it out hold on it's just hard to hold those tails and hold it right up okay so there is our tree upside down all right so now we need to add some in the center but to do that we need to get our string over to the middle okay so I'm going to skip, I'm gonna go over this bead and through this bead, okay? Over this one and through the second one. So it'll come down right in, almost in the center. So you need to have kind of an odd number on the bottom if you make it bigger. Let's see, let me get it, keep it pulled all tight. Okay. All right. So see what I'm talking about? So I went over this bead, went over that one, through the second one, and then it comes out right here. Okay. And I'm going to do it on this other side. Are y'all following me? So I'm going to go over the first one and through the second one and out in the middle. So I'm gonna try to pull it tight and hold it up where I can show you how, what I'm talking about. Well, it's really hard to hold it. Okay, so this is my bottom row right here. So you got, uh oh, my finger's in the way. I went over this one and through that one and it comes down. And I went over this one through that bead and then it comes down, okay? Like I said, we're gonna do this a couple more times. <laughs> The, I just got here. The string, 
I did probably about four feet, but I don't think you need that much. I'm just one of those people that I'm going to cut more than I need <laughs> because I can always cut it off. And I have an abundance of jute. <laughs> um, so I'm always, thank you, Gina, for sprinkling. I'm always uh, just, I'm going to cut more than I need. Okay, so I got that. All right, so now we're going to add our trunk beads. So I got brown ones that I've painted brown. And um, on this one, let's see, what did I do? Let me look at my other one I did earlier. Okay, same thing we did at the very top. We're gonna put the bead on like that, okay? And then I'm gonna take the other string and I'm gonna go through the bead so it comes out the other side and then we're gonna tighten it up like this so I can hold it up. Hold on. Sometimes you have to kinda like what I'm doing, you have to go back and you have to pull all your slack out and get it where it's gonna lay right but on mine I, ha I ended up having to um, hot glue my last row to my um, to my the second row the five row to the fourth row I don't I don't know why it just doesn't want to I don't know if it's too many beads on the bottom okay so there's one piece of my trunk so I don't know if it's the weight of the beads but it wants to kind of it um, hang down so Bead, go through on one side with this strand and push it all the way down. And then I'm going to take the bead and take the string on this side and run it through. And pull it through the other side. So now I've got my little trunk. And I'm going to hold it upside down where you can see it. So see how the five and the four kind of sag together, but we're going to fix it. Okay, so now I'm going to try to lay it down and I'm going to just pull on all my strings and try to get them kind of like you're tightening up your shoelaces. Um, hey, you're new from West Virginia, Becky. Welcome. Glad you're here to hang out with us. Okay, so I don't know if it's just the beads, the weight, and it, it makes it sag, but I'm going to hot glue, put a dot of hot glue. My shirt, it is from another crafters page called Simple Abundance. And they just got them back in stock, so you're welcome to go and get you one. They are cute as a bug. It says, channel your flannel. I love I love it. We're praying for somebody. Oh, no. Somebody's got stage 4 lung cancer. I'm so sorry. Okay, so when we finish it off at the bottom, we're going to fix this. Don't worry. I'm gonna, just going to tie it in a knot. After you kind of tighten it up, kind of like shoestrings, um, I'm just going to tie it in a knot down here. You could tie a jingle bell on the bottom. You could tie just about anything you wanted to off the bottom if you want, you know, if, that, if you desire to do that. Um, so I'm just going to cut my little tails. And before I show it to y'all, I'm going to put a dot of hot glue um, on the bottom of one of my beads and just kind of glue my fifth row and my fourth row together. I don't know why. I guess the weight, maybe. If somebody could... Um, thank you, Judy, for the stars. Um, oh, the shirt link. It is uh, Simple Abundance. Another crafter's page of mine. They're a friend of mine. And they have this cute, adorable shirt. And I just had to have it. Okay, so I'm just putting a little dot in between trying not to get it to show, but it kind of is wanting to show a little bit. Glue stars. So if you do, who, who was that that did seed beads like this? They can tell me why my bottom row is doing that. Of course, of course, the only way I know to fix it is hot glue. <laughs> okay. So here is our little tree. Okay. So now this, you know, the little top loop that we started with, I'm going to take a piece, another piece of jute that I cut off. Where is it? If I have enough, I'm going to pull my tape off. Oh, you could put a tassel. That would be a good idea to put a tassel on the bottom. That would be awesome. Hey, Nina from, uh, from Virginia. Okay, so I'm just going to take another piece of jute and carefully try to get it up under there because it is tight. And then I'm going to tie a knot so we can hang it on the tree. 
I told y'all I'm going to ornament y'all to death because I love ornaments. Love ornaments. So I'm just making, tying a little knot, making a hanger. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's my little tree. Isn't he cute? He's kind of wanting to be wopsided, but he's okay. But look how cute that is. So we're gonna, I'm going to do it again so y'all can see. But then when you get finished, you can add, um, let's see. Let me see. I got a piece of ribbon. I'm going to try to attempt maybe to make a bow. And I'll pick a bow at the top. But you can paint your beads all different colors. I'm going to try to make a bow. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I got some little buffalo check ribbon and I'm gonna attempt to make a bow. Just a little simple something. But you could probably do this with some older kids and you could do the pony beads. Y'all know what the pony beads are? Those little plastic ones or anything like that. You could do it out of that probably and they would be just as cute for the kids. Um, it's funny how a lot of my crafts are like kids crafts, but you know, sometimes you just have to go back to the basics. We're all just kids at heart anyway. I'm trying my best y'all to tie this little bitty piece of jute that I made myself. It's like little, okay. Look y'all, I made a bow. <laughs> Y'all know I'm not a bow maker. All right, and then I'm gonna put my, I think I'm gonna hot glue my bow right here at the top bead, just to kind of finish it off. There we go. Now looky how cute. How cute is that? You could put red dots on it. You could do all kinds of stuff just to um, give it a little color or you could just leave it plain, however you want to do it. You could even alternate like red, green, red, green of your beads and it'd be, um, you know, different colors. So I'm gonna set that one to the side. We're gonna do another one, but I'm gonna get glam and fancy now. I love Baker's Twine. I don't know if y'all use Baker's Twine. They do sell it at Dollar Tree. Um, this came from Hobby Lobby, I think. It's the red and green together and white. And then this is just red and white. And the, like Dollar Tree sells the little bitty things. But I have found some big ones. But they come in a pack like this at Dollar Tree. But they, I have found some of the bigger rolls here lately. Um, yeah, this would be a cute gift. It'd be a cute to hang on your presents um, as well. So I'm gonna cut some Baker's twine because I like this red and white. That would look good with the Grinch color. So that's what we're gonna do now. So I'm, like I said, I'm cutting way more than I need. All right, so probably about, I'm cutting about four feet. Because from your nose, if you hold your, um, I think I've told y'all this before and y'all may already know this and there may be somebody that doesn't know. If you hold your piece of material or string and you hold it to the end of your nose and stretch your arm out as far as it'll go like this, okay? That's approximately a yard, just so you have a kind of a reference, okay? If you stretch it from fingertip to fingertip, that's six feet approximately. So, you ever need to quickly measure, that's a yard. All right, so I got about probably a little over four feet, maybe four, maybe five, I don't know, maybe five feet. We can just see. Yeah, it's not quite six. It's probably about four and a half, five. All right, so I'm going to do this bright, pretty lime green. Um, this is, I love the bright green with my Christmas. That's that's my color. Um, I like all of it, though, but I do like the, uh-oh, gotten a knot. I do like the bright green. The Grinch green, I guess, is what it's known as now. And yes, y'all, did y'all see my Christmas tree I put up? So I'm putting it in the middle, okay? And then I'm gonna take one of the ends and um, so we got this. 
okay? I know my fingers are in the way. It's kind of hard to see. So we have that. So I'm taking this, like one of the sides. Doesn't matter what side, okay? Well, let me put some tape on my string first before I get all, it gets all frazzled up. Yeah, Lou, X-Ray Tech knows that. We have to know that, yep. That's right. Because we have to, um, when you do X-Ray, you have to shoot it at a certain distance and that matters. And so um, some things are shot at, at 72 inches. So you know that your hand's width is 72 inches. You just learned something new. Good grace, I'm glad you learned something. We can all learn from each other. We all have something to bring to the table. Okay, so there is our bead with our string. I'm gonna take one end, doesn't matter which end, and go to the other side and put it through. So it kind of locks it in like that. And then I'm just gonna push it through and grab it, hopefully. There we go. Like this. And then there's your little loop that we're gonna actually hang our ornament thing from, like that, okay? Um, so there it is. So look how good the, the red and white and the green look together. It looks like candy cane. Oh, thank you, Diane. See, I got it short again. So if you got it one size short, you can just pull some slack and then pull your, you know, kind of like you do your shoestrings. You just give it a little slack and then when they're not even and you're trying to lace your shoes up. Okay, right that. So there it is. So now I'm going to add two. So it doesn't matter what side. Just go to one side or the other. I gotta put tape on this side. Oh, you didn't know the, the nose to the arm? Yeah, I mean, that one we don't use a lot, but the, you know, the fingertip to fingertip is 62. I mean, uh, seven, uh, 72. <laughs> okay, check your say Facebook, some changes. Yeah, sometimes Facebook has been resetting and stuff and it's not, um, your notifications get turned off or something. I noticed that with mine. Okay. So take one side or the other, and we're gonna put two on. So we're making a little pyramid. This would be probably where the needle would come in because this Baker's twine is really um, lightweight. You shouldn't have a problem putting it on needle, but okay. And y'all are saying, put that thing on a needle. <laughs> Okay, so I got my two, and I put it on this. I put it on this side. So now I'm going to take the other string that we didn't put the beads on, and I'm going to run it through the beads, and that's going to make it tight and make them stay together. Come on, there we go. One. So run it through both of them. I'm trying. There it goes. And then I'm going to pull it tight. So now we have this. So that's the top. And then there's our two. So now we're going to we're going to do three beads. So you know, I like wood beads and so um I've sent y'all all to Amazon <laughs> to get wood beads and now here's another thing you can do with them. I like to um to use all my craft stuff in a different way. So that way you're not out buying all kinds of stuff constantly, just buying all different things. You're, you're using what you have, but in a different way. Know what size beads. Oh, these are, um, Lisa, I usually use the 20 millimeters. That's what size I'm using right now. Um, you could use any size beads you wanted. Actually, I'm gonna do one in a minute, and I'm gonna do it with these little these little bitty, um, little bitty beads. I don't even know what size these are. Okay, so I put my three on, and now I'm gonna take the thread on the opposite side and go right back through the beads. Um, I am making beaded trees, Miss Bonnie, like this. Would be trees, like that. Okay. I'm going through one and I got two more. 
but I love this Baker's twine. It just makes it fun and the red and white against the green makes it look all pretty. So you could dress these up, make them fun, however you want to do it. Where on Pinterest you found the tree ornament? I don't even know. I, I look at Pinterest a lot and I have no idea where I found it. Okay. So there's our three. See how fun that looks against the red and white looks against the green. So now I'm going to do four. Okay. I'm trying to grab it with my fingernail. There we go. One. Uh oh, he broke his foot. Oh my goodness. That's bad. Okay. And two, three, four. So yeah, I spent a, I spent a good bit of the evening painting beads. <laughs> um, so they would all be dry. Okay, so I got my four. And now I'm going to take the opposite side and I'm going to go back through the beads. So I did several different colors so I could... Um, so you can see it done more than once. And... Because after you do it, you know, you see it done and then you do one, it kind of it's it kind of makes sense to you and you kind of know how to do it. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> um, yeah, my shirt's from Simple Abundance. It says, channel your flannel. And it is so stinking cute. They sold out and then they got some more back in. And I want to say that they said this would be the last time they would have them before Christmas, I think. I'm not really sure. I think that's what I read on her page. But I just love it. So I had to share it with y'all because it is the cutest thing ever. Okay, so now I've got four. Okay, look how pretty that is with the red and white. All right. So have y'all got trees up yet? Okay, so now I'm going to um, go five this time. This color is Apple Barrel and it's, from, it's called Parakeet. From Walmart and to me that's the it's the perfect just the perfect lime green Grinch color what is an oh, I just I just said it is it is parakeet from Apple Barrel <laughs> you never learn to knit I haven't I can't crochet I can't I've tried the upholstery needles have got the big eye. Yes, I know. I need to get some. The next time I go to the store, the, the craft store, I'm going to get me some. Okay. Come on. This is the last row. All right. So now we got five on the bottom. And I'm going to take the other side and weave it through those five. Come on, push it through there with something. Let me see. There it goes. Oh, the heat is on and it is getting hot up in here. Hey, Cynthia. But this would be cute to let your kids decorate them. You could let your kids paint the beads all different colors. And then, um, let you know, you help them string it together and hang it on the tree. It would be so cute. You could hang these on gifts or presents. Um, then people have something to hang on the tree. And they have a present, too. <laughs> your tree stays up all the time, Sylvia. Why did I not know that? Okay, so there's our... For our one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yes, you could do, I mean, the possibilities are endless with this. Um, you could do red, green, red, green, red, green, or, you know, and make it all different colors. Okay, so now I'm going to go do the trunk. Okay. So here's our, this is the bottom of our tree. But I'm going to go, hang on, let me get it back like I had it. I had it all perfect. Now. Get it to act right. Okay. So I'm going to take this end, this piece, and I'm going to go over this bead and then through the second bead. So 
I'm gonna go through that one, over that one, and through this one, and it comes out in the middle. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And like I said, you kind of have to, you know, kind of play with it and pull it tight, keep it all kind of cinched together where it's not rolling all around. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the first one and then through the second one. And then it comes out next to the third one. It's supposed to. If I can get a hold of it. There it is. Okay. Now hold it up where y'all can see what I'm talking about. So y'all say y'all have trees up yet? Oh, these are 20 millimeter beads. That's like my favorite go-to size. Um, for my beaded garland and that kind of stuff. So that's what I see in my kits too. Okay, I don't know why it's not wanting to, to the bottom row doesn't want to stay together and I don't know why. Let's see. I'm just trying to like, you know how you have to work your shoelaces to get it all tight, full here, loosen it there and get it all fixed, okay. Now, see how the bottom row don't wanna stay together, so I just put glue on it? Let's see. So there's the bottom row. I went over, through, and it comes out right here, okay? And then I went, let me move my string. Okay, over, through, and then it comes out right here on those five. So we're gonna add the trunk. I gotta get it all tightened back up again. This one doesn't have as much, um, I guess the jute has a little more body and thickness to it. And this one wants to kinda move around a whole lot. There we go. Get it all right. Now, all right, so then you got these two at the bottom, your two strings, and then we're gonna to do like we did at the beginning in the, at the start. Um, we're gonna go, just put one bead on, and then I'm gonna take the other thread and put it through the bead. Poke it through there, there it goes. And then I'm gonna do one more the same way. Okay, so I'm gonna put another brown one on. And then put the thread, the other thread back through the bead the other way. And just pull it all, pull them both and get it all tightened up there together. Okay, then I'm gonna tie a knot at the bottom. Like this is where you could hang a jingle bell, you can hang a tassel. Um, whatever you wanted to, you could hang it all there. And it would be really cute. So you could hang a little, hang a little tassel off there. And that would be just too stinking cute. Okay, but I'm gonna put a dot of hot glue to get my, my five beads to act. I don't know, the bottom row just doesn't wanna act right. So I have to put a dot there of glue to get it to want it to all hang together. Yeah, Sherry, that's what I was thinking too. I may can go back and up and connect the fifth row and the fourth row. I don't know if it's just the weight of the beads or what it is. Cause I've tried to pull it tight. I've tried to loosen it. I've done all that and it's still, um, slide a toothpick through the bottom. Go back through your fourth row before you do the trunk. Mm. That's a good idea, Kimberly. I just hot glued it. <laughs> I'll hot glue anything if it sits still long enough. Okay, so here is my little tree. And I gotta put a hanger at the top. But see how cute that would be with bell on the bottom? Oh, I done, now I done pulled that apart. Lord of mercy. And these are my Gorilla Glue Stick uh, I got them back in my glue gun. I had to get some more because the Dollar Tree ones are okay. Um, 
but um, I like the Gorilla Glue. It, they've done spoiled me now to the Gorilla Glue ones. <laughs> Second that class, please. Stick toothpicks in the bottom row. Hmm. Yeah, that might would work. You could probably do this with wire, and it would probably hang better. Okay, got it all back. Now my trunk's crooked. Okay. Got it all back. See? <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to try to thread. I'm going to cut one of my tails off down here at the bottom. Mm, I'm just going to pull some more off here. Because what if I want, I think I might want to add something to the bottom after a while. I might want to put a bell or something on the bottom. Um, it's the weight. Okay, yeah, maybe I need to go back through the fourth row. All right, so I'm just taking another piece, and I'm going to thread it back under that very top loop that we made. So I can make me a little hanger. There we go. So you'll have something to hang it from the tree. So this is going on my little ornament tree that I put up this weekend. If y'all didn't see that, I put a little video on there of my tree. My little $99 tree I bought at Walmart to put all of my um all of my ornaments that I've made on a live or something. I put all of those on that tree and I'm just adding to it. Okay. So yeah, see that guess is the weight of the beads. So let's see if I can't put a dot right there. And get them to stay together. It is so cute. <laughs> Look how cute. See that one's got like a little gap in the middle too. But still it's so cute. I'm going to do one with the these little beads and see what happens. And now here's an idea for y'all. You can get these at Dollar Tree. And they're the pretty good size pearls. How pretty would this be? made into a tree. That would be so gorgeous with those pearls or any kind of beads would be so cute. Uh-oh, Peggy, you better plug that phone up. My dogs are going crazy over something. See, there's my tree. Look how cute it is. So on this one, let's see, well, let's put it at the top of this one. I think I'm going to... Um, I got some rickrack. See, that would be cute if you put rickrack in between. Let's see. <laughs> the dogs are barking and my husband's going, shh. I <laughs> wonder if I did that. What if that'd be cute? I don't know. I thought about putting it in between the rows, but then when you hang it up, they kind of, I don't know. That might would be cute. So I'm going to make some kind of little something at the top. Make a little bow or something at the top. You hear them? I know y'all can hear them dogs. They hear the slightest little noise and, you know, it's on. One starts barking and then the other one's barking because the first one's barking and nobody knows what they're barking at. Okay, I'm going to do it again, Kathy, so you can see. I'm going to do it again. I'm making my little... Funky little crisscross something at the top. <laughs> just to add a little something, something at the top. Okay. So I just took two pieces of Rick Rack and I just crossed them. And then I just tied them together with some of that same Baker's Twine. Baker's Twine is so fun. And they make it in all these colors. Now. They make it all colors now. They used to didn't. Okay. Let's see. Cut this side. All right. And I'm going to glue it at the top. This is like the Grinch tree. So cute. I told y'all I'm going to ornament y'all to death. I love me some ornaments. Yeah, my dogs do too. Okay. And you could dye your beads. You could do whatever you wanted to them. You could do them natural. The first one I did was just natural because I was just kind of playing around. Look how cute. See, I thought about putting the rit rack in between there. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it just because. Just because I want to. Maybe that'll hold them together. Just going to put a little dot there. 
know if they're going to stay, though, because this root rack's kind of small. I like root rack. It's so cute. Whoop. See? I can get it to stay. Look how cute. <laughs> Okay, I'll finish that one in a little bit. All right, now we're going to do, I'm going to see what's going to happen with these. They are, see, they're significantly smaller. So I got this, this size, and then we're going to go down to that size, and let's see what happens. Now i got to decide what color string. I think I might use this green and white. Like, this one came from Dollar Tree. It's got a good bit on there, too, so I'm going to measure it out again. <laughs> This one probably won't take near as much, but I just always like to have too much than not enough. Okay, so here we go again. Maybe I ought to put this one on a needle, y'all think? Because it is little. All right, I got a whole pack of needles right here, so I'm going to see um, if I can thread the sucker. Okay, this one's pretty big. I think I can see the eye of that one. I think it'll go through the beads, so... I think we're all good if I can thread it. Have y'all seen people take the needle and like rub it around and then the thread gets on there? I'm like, I don't know if that works or not. <laughs> okay, got it on there. Tied a knot in my thread at the process. <laughs> okay, I like the Rick Rack too. All right, so we're gonna put one bead on. This is how you start. One bead on, just like that, okay? And then you lay it down. So then you're gonna take, I'm gonna separate my two sides, okay? You're gonna take one side and go back through, not where it comes out, but the opposite side. So then you're making this little, like that. See how the thread's on the top, if y'all can see that? You just made a little loop on the, on the um, thread, okay? So then you're gonna take two beads and do the same thing. We're gonna go one, two. So we're gonna find out if it's gonna make a difference it being um, smaller. And I gotta have tape on the other piece because my needle's on one piece. I don't know if this is real Baker's twine or not, but it's called, it says Baker's twine on the package, but I don't think you can really cook with it. <laughs> um, thank you, Gladys. You're so funny. It didn't work for you. Uh-oh. Okay. So now I'm going to go, I put two on. I'm going to take the other string on the other side and go through the bead. Let me get it small because this hole in this bead is a little bit smaller. I may have to put a needle on this side. Yep, I'm gonna have to put a needle on here because the hole's too small. But I'm gonna see if it holds together like better than the big ones because the big ones are kind of heavy, but um, <laughs> I gotta get my thread together because y'all can't see that. Please come on. This one's a little smaller, so I may not get it in there. And I'm not. Here's what I'm gonna do. Do my other trick. When that don't work, we'll, work, we'll do something else. Come on, there we go. You made it work, Pat? So you're doing it as we're doing it? So did you go back through the uh, the top row, the other row? Now I'm gonna have to poke it through every time. So I'm going back through the two. Come on, this bead's got a piece of wood in it. That's what it is. Stuck in the bead, there we go. All right, there we go. We got it going now. We had a little hang up. Cause these holes are smaller. 
Come on. All right, got it. Let me fix my mess I got. All right, there's my top bead. I lost what I was doing. Okay, so there's my two and my one, okay? Just like that. So now I'm gonna do um, three. One, two, three. Okay, fifth row is your sags a little bit. Okay, so I got three. And so I'm gonna grab the other string and go through there, back through those three. Push it on through there. But you could do plastic beads. I know Hobby Lobby has got a lot. Just make sure your hole is at least big enough for a needle to go through. Those pearls from Dollar Tree, those holes are pretty big, so those would work fine if you can find those pearls. Um, that would be beautiful. Okay, so now I've got a two. A one, a three, and a one. Okay? One, two, and three. Just like that. So now I'm going to do four. And it doesn't matter what side you start with when you put the beads on. It doesn't matter because they're both going to go through the holes. So it doesn't matter where you start. Um, what side. Doesn't have any rhyme or reason different. Okay. With that... I'm going to go back through these. Then you go back through your four with the other side. Look at Pat so smart. She got her beads out and started doing it. <laughs> when your creativity strikes, you just got to go with it. All right. Two more. My little hot glue on the end of the string works pretty good most of the time. When your bead don't have something clogged up in it, like paint. These beads, these are little, I don't know what size they are. They came in a box that I got off Amazon. Um, they had a whole bunch of different sizes of beads in the box. So I don't even know what size they are. Needle and go through. Yeah. Okay. So there's my four. Looks like little snowballs, don't it? One, two, three. So they came in a box from with big beads all the way down to even smaller than that. Look, there's one. He's a runt. He's gonna be little in the middle. <laughs> See, <laughs> he's a little he's a little bit lacking there, but we'll be okay. Could be a little Charlie Brown tree. All right, come on. So I'm going back through with the string on the other side, opposite from where I went in with it. Come on. You know, I don't want to go through there because y'all, I'm on live, of course. Come on. There it goes. Hey, Kathy. Welcome. <laughs> you wish you were little in the middle? <laughs> yeah, he's a little runt. I don't know why I didn't notice that when I was painting him. I guess I was in a hurry. But it's just going to add some little character. They kind of look like uh, little white powdered donuts. So I showed y'all a picture um, the other day. My oldest son, he got he bought his first vehicle. You know, him paying the bills and all that. He he got his first vehicle. I'm like, he's probably on here, so I'm going to tell a story. So this weekend he was here. Him and his girlfriend were here, and um, we got to I got to ride in his nice new truck, and uh, I told him he needed to stop at the store. He was like, "What do I need to stop at the store for?" I said, because I'm going to go in there, I'm going to get me some white powder donuts, I'm going to get me some Cheetos, and some chocolate milk, and I'm going to sit back here and just poof, 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 and eat white donuts and Cheetos and get stuff all over your truck. 
like you did when you were a kid. And he just looked at me like, really, Mom? <laughs> I couldn't help it. Okay, so we got our five on the bottom. Don't they look like little white powdered donuts? <laughs> so I'm going to show y'all, since I got the needle, I can show you. Since uh, y'all know what I'm talking about. Get them, that white powder and that cheese all over your back seat. Be all over the place. Oh, I spilled my chocolate milk. Mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, he didn't think it was funny. Okay, so when you got your bottom row, I'm going to go over that bead and into the second bead like that. So that way you can kind of see how I'm doing the bottom like that. Now this one, I can't do that because I don't have a needle on it. <laughs> So let's see, over this, over the first and go through the second. I'm going to poke it through with this little tool I've got here. Whoop! I just pulled it out. Come on, quit rolling up on me. Look at it, it's wanting to fold up on me. Come on, act right. There it goes. All right, so now we have both of our strings coming down the middle so we can put the trunk on. Lord have mercy, I don't know what has happened. <laughs> I got a hot mess, y'all. It's done twisted up on itself or something. Come on, that right, lay down. And let me cinch up my shoe strings. Just like that, like that. See, that bottom row still wants to sag, so I guess I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to, let's see, wonder if I can, hmm, wonder if I can go back over that row right there and get it to hold it tight. See what happens. What's it going to hurt if we just try? Hmm, that worked pretty good. I'm going to try it. So what I did was I took the needle and I went over the th fourth row and back down. So I'm gonna try to get it to hold it together. Maybe that fifth row. I don't know why the fifth row wants to act up. It just does. Just the weight, I guess. Okay. So now, now I'm gonna put my trunk on. So we're gonna do just like we did in the beginning. So we're gonna go one brown bead that way and then I'll take the other string and run it through my uh, my brown bead come on guess I need a needle on both pieces but I couldn't thread it <laughs> I didn't have one the same size okay look now It's wanting to act crazy. Okay, so I got that on. Now I'm gonna go do the same thing again with the next one. Back through, go through the bead, and then the other string goes back through the other way. Like that. What did I do? Something happened. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay. That tie into the fourth row, I think, has upset my apple cart. I don't know what happened. Something happened. Alright. I went and got myself confused. Okay. And then this one goes through. Sorry, guys. <laughs> My, something has happened and I got myself all confused. All right. There we go. Yeah, that tying to the fourth row, I don't know what's, that didn't work really great. I'll have to, have to work on that. Why is it not wanting to, okay. So there's my, let me tie, oof. See, look, when I hold it up, it looks like this. <laughs> hold on. Let me just tie it laying down here like this and see if I can't get it to work. 
not, we're gonna hot glue that sucker. Okay, take my needle off. Yeah, no, it's not the small bead. I think it's, I went to the fourth row and then back down to the fifth row trying to see if I could get it to tighten up and I don't think it liked that. But we're gonna see if we can't fix it. It's a wreath, <laughs> Sarah. That's right. We'll just fix it and make it something else. Oh, okay. Y'all are funny. Okay, so there it is. See, I went, see, look, I got like, my trunk is like a swing on there now because I hung it to the, <laughs> I went over and down and I should have went back through. Um, so now I'm just going to have to glue it together to make it hold. I'm fixing to break the gorilla out. That's right, Nancy. I'm going to put some, my car bumper glue on it. And I'm going to hold them suckers together. <laughs> you just see, Pat, you're hot glued yours too. String isn't thick enough. Maybe that's what it is. Well, when I tried to do my little fixing it, it, it I think I, I made a, my trunk was, I made a swing out of my trunk. <laughs> I should have went through and then looped it over or something. I just went one loop over and didn't, didn't go all the way over it. It would have been fine. So we're gluing it. It's not going to swing. Our trunk is not going to swing anymore. I am like the rest of y'all. Y'all just don't know. <laughs> I have epic fails too. You know, I glue stuff to the table all the time. I got spots right here where I've glued stuff to the table. Okay. So there he is. And see, look. <laughs> This one over here is, he's that one branch that don't, you know, he don't want to line up with everybody. Let me move him around. There we go. There he goes. See? All right, so let me try something to the top. Make me a hanger. So I'm just going to take the rest of, my, rest of my twine that I have left and put it through the top. But I know y'all got wood beads, so y'all are gonna have to give it a try and see how yours turn out. Don't glue it to the table. I, I've done that a many a times on a live, I promise. I have laid it down and then went to go pick it up and it stuck to the, to the tablecloth. You should really put this loop through there before you actually get started. It would probably be a little easier but I didn't want to confuse anybody because cause, uh, it's it can be confusing once you... Ugh, I'm going to have to put it on the needle and get it through there. It's confusing. Trees aren't perfect. That's right. They got... Except when you buy them from the store. <laughs> the fake ones. Although, the one I put up yes uh, this weekend, yesterday, I swear I'll look at it and I swear it's leaning. But... Everybody says it's not. I guess it's just me. I'm just I'm just leaning to the side. I don't know, but <laughs> thank y'all for sprinkling. This has kind of turned into a hot mess. Look, and this twine, like one string goes through the needle, and then all of them don't go through the eye of the needle. And yeah, I just want to get it right through underneath that loop so I can hang a hanger on the top. There, that's all I wanted. See, look at him. <laughs> oh that one's gonna have to have a little bit of perfection it's so funny oh do i come on every night no i i come on monday nights at 7 30 central and then i come on uh friday nights at 7 30 central so that's my usual time um this one's wanting to jut out to the side i'm fixing to fix him i'm gonna glue him down don't act right. Okay. So there he is. Isn't he cute? But you could just do different strings. You could do different beads, different colors, and just have fun with it. And do this with your, you know, probably your older kids. Um, that snowflake's too big. It would be a lot of fun. You might need to replay. Oh, Lord. <laughs> replay it a few times. So you can see and laugh at me how bad it is. See, Belinda, I think it is too. Mine kind of looks like it's 
Just just a little. And everybody's like, no, it's fine, Mama. It's fine. That's what Colin told me. It's fine. And I'm like, no, it's it's leaning. And he's like, no, Mama, it's it's okay. It's it's fine. I'm like, it's leaning. It's leaning. But anyway, hey, Kay. It's not leaning. That bow's too big. I don't have anything small enough out here to make me a bow with. I got this little blingy stuff, but it might be too big. But I want to see y'all do it with the pearls. I think the pearls would be very pretty. I'm going to hang these on my tree. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. Who? I can't even see who that was. You're so sweet. I, may, I need to behave. Make me glue you down. That's right. Somebody, some, sometimes I need to be glued down, I think. <laughs> we could be best friends. I know. We all just need to be best friends. That's my 2020 tree. That's right. I went ahead and put it up because we are, it's, this is not a traditional year. So, therefore, we're going to stop being traditional at all. We can put it up when we want to. See, I put that little blingy blingy on it. Isn't it cute? <sighs> yeah, they don't want to fix it. That's right, Donna. They don't want to say anything because then they'll be having the ones to fix it. But um, but it's a pretty tree, though. I mean, it's only $100. It, was, it wasn't it was bad. Um, I know Michaels has theirs on sale, and I just didn't want to go all the way to Michaels, to be honest. But um, <laughs> you want to see me do the pearls? Please? As a hot mess as I've done? Could you use yarn? Carol, you might could. I, that's what, I don't know if somebody said that the thread was too light. And that was why I was wanting to act funny. Look at it from the side. That little gem thing is like big. <laughs> but jingle bells hanging off the bottom. A tassel hanging off the bottom. Sharon, yeah, you'll have to watch the beginning. Here's the first one I did. And it needs to be... I don't know. I haven't perfected it yet. There's the tree with the beads. You'll have to go back and see how I did it. And this one I was adding Rick Rack to and I hadn't finished. Did that one. And then I did little beads. So y'all can at least uh, give it a try and inspire you to do. Um, when will I be restocking snowmen? Hopefully this week. I'm busy uh, filling orders from the weekend. And um, I will, I cut all day today. I'll be cutting all day tomorrow except when I go vote. And then uh, that's all I got to do. Do the pearls. Okay, I'll do the pearls. What am I going to do the pearls? Oh, I did bring thread out here. Okay. Someone asked about the summit. Yes. So they'll be, well, just keep looking. Um... Oh, yeah, Becky, just keep drooling. I know it's all beautiful at Hobby Lobby. Do the pearls. Okay, I'm doing the pearls. Glass needles that got somewhere years ago. Huh. So, I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell us that does the seed beads. Why the bottom row does that? Okay. Here's, I got some kind of off-white thread. I don't even know what it is. I'm not going make a whole lot. <laughs> Kind of like hair. You you can cut it off and keep cutting, but you can't um, can't put it back on. I'm going to put needles on both ends. How about that? And these these pearls have got big and, you know, pretty much, um, they're whole. The holes are pretty big. I know y'all probably can't see it with the light, but the holes are, well, help if I showed you where the hole was. See, the hole's pretty big. All right, let's put a needle on both sides. It'll probably go fit quicker that way. I don't know what kind of thread this is, but I bet that's not going to go on that needle. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, so I'm going to put one bead on. Just like that. In the center. Okay. Then I'll put one. That pearl looks a different color than the rest of them. He's a reject. Okay. Two. Put two on. And then I'm going to take this needle on this side and go back through. Y'all tired of hearing me say, say that? <sighs> Clear fishing line. Oh, Laura. There you go. 
clear fishing line. That would look cool. I mean, you wouldn't see the line at all. It would just be your beads. That'd be neat. Okay, pull it through. Now I've got three. And then I got, this one will go quicker because I got needles. How about putting a drop of glue on the outer beads on each row? Craft wire. Yeah, the craft wire might would work. I did start off, um, hey Maureen, I did start off with floral wire. I thought, well, I'm going to do it with floral wire and see what happens. It, it didn't do good for me. So somebody else might can get it to work. So we can perfect it. All right, so I've got them on that side. So I'm going to grab my other needle. I got smart, y'all. Put needles on both sides. <laughs> no, I didn't go back the through the first one. I thought I was doing good until Deronda said, Oh, you didn't go back through the first one. Thank you, Deronda. I'd have got all the way to the end and been like, What? Okay, so I gotta start over. I thought I was going fast. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for telling me that. Because I wouldn't have known what was wrong. I'd have been like, what is wrong with this thing? Why is it not acting right? And I gotta thread my needles again. Alright, so I'm gonna go back through the first one. Thank you. Okay. Alright. It's there. He's looped on. I'd have been confused as a rat. Oh, okay, Laura. So you made a bunch when you were younger with the pony beads. <laughs> you think I'm getting tired, Trish? <laughs> Put your hanger on first. Okay. Well, I'm kind of worried that all this moving around, it'll come off. Tie it on first, you think? Let's see. Let's pull off some of this jute I got over here. Well, I don't know. Let's do it with the thread because that jute might be a little overpowering. Yeah, I've been packing orders, so just keep checking because it'll probably be later on toward the end of the week that I get it all restocked. Um, okay, putting my hanger on. My little tree in there is going to be filled up quick. Okay. Got my hanger on. Let me tie my knot up. Alright, so my hanger's on there. See it? Okay. Let's see. See, now the hanger's getting me all confused. Okay. Lay up there and be nice. There. Because it's all the same color, so I get confused on... What's what up here? Okay. Now, my first row, I got... Why have I got three on the first row? <laughs> Go back through. So, somebody's telling me I may need an... I may, yeah, I may need another tree, Lori. Don't tell my husband that. He'll have a fit. Oh, my shirt came from Simple Abundance. They are some crafty friends of mine. They have a crafty page, just like me. Um, and they have this shirt, and it says, Channel Your Flannel. And I thought it was the cutest thing ever, and I had to have it. And um, so that's where you can get it. Simple abundance. Tape it down. Yeah, I need to tape it down. Okay. This thread is so fly away. All right. Glue it to the table. There you go. Glue it to the table. Yes, from Hildy at Simple Abundance. Hildy and Renee. Sweet girls. And they have this cutest shirt. Oh. And then my needle comes off. Okay. So I got my three on there. I'm going to go back through the three with the other side. This one's harder, I think, because of the thread's so small and it's so dainty. I think it's just a little hard to hard to maneuver. And my needle came off the other one now. 
But the hanger is like, it's getting all messed up. Okay, so, because it's like thread and thread and thread and you can't tell what's what. Okay, I'm tying it to the table. I'm, I, I taped it to the table. All right, so I got my three. Y'all just wanted to see me struggle. That's why y'all wanted me to do the pearls. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Y'all wanted to see me struggle. Are you near Startville, Mississippi? Gwen, I'm probably about an hour and a half from Startville. I'm an hour from Oxford. Um, and just, um, just about 20 minutes from Memphis. Let's see. Okay. Now I got my four. I go back with this side. Now this was definitely the difficult. You live about 15 minutes from their store. Awesome. They're opening up a cafe. Did you know that? Open it up, I think, sometime this month, actually. But Hildy and Hildy is just a sweetheart. I love her. Um, super talented. Okay. All right, there's my four. One more row. So I guess the trunk's going to have to be... Um, it's going to have to be pearls, too, because I don't have any little bitty brown. I used them. One, two, three. But these pearls are pretty, though. I mean, you get 60 of them in a bag from Dollar Tree. That's not bad. You can make a bunch of little trees. Let's see. Where's my needle? Come on. Ow! I stuck myself. Either a burn or a stick. It's dangerous. <laughs> Do you sell the shirts? I don't sell these shirts. I have other shirts in my store. This is just their shop. Um, I just saw them with it. And I like to support my other crafty friends. And so I bought, um, I bought one from them because I absolutely had to have it. And I like to support my friends. So I bought their shirt. And I wore it on a live because I didn't have my Christmas shirts. But then it's back in stock in their shop. And I said, well, I'm going to wear it again tonight. And I just, because I just love this shirt. Three hours from Memphis. I'm losing my needle. <laughs> okay. The needle don't, is not quite long enough to go through five. And I've lost it. Okay. All right. So there's my five. So see, can y'all see it? As I got it taped to the table. So far, that row is is wanting to act right. So I don't know if maybe when I pull it tight, if it's making it so tight it makes it bow out. I don't know. Come on. Y'all can't see. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go over and through this one. And over and through the second one. We're going to see. Uh, come on. These pearls are, I think, are harder. Just because maybe they're slick. I don't know. And they're smaller. That's another thing. You like the red and black buffalo check? That this one <laughs> is cute. I just had to have it. I just had a fit when I saw it. I went like instantly and ordered it. I was like, uh-uh, gotta have it. Okay, this is my trunk bead. Like that. Ah, and I unthreaded my needle again. These pearls are slick, so I think. That's what the problem is. And they're smaller. I can't get it to tighten up for some reason. Y'all bear with me. Y'all made me do this one. It's your fault. <laughs> I am making beaded trees. And they made me do one with pearls. And I'm having a hard time. <laughs> Oh, y'all. 
This one is not wanting to tighten up. Oh, y'all, I'm sweating. You use wire instead of twine on the pearls. Yes. Well, this is just thread. Because I wanted it to kind of match the, the tree. Okay. Y'all, this one is... Whew. Who was it told me to do the pearls? <laughs> okay. Now. Look, I'm not going to let it let it beat me. But I don't think they're going to stay together. I think it's going to... What in the world? Okay. Pull. You got to figure out which one to pull is the bad thing. Okay. Then you pull that and that. It's not, I don't think it's going to work. Or I can't get it to work. Okay. She's still alive. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry I'm not talking, but y'all, I'm like stressing trying to get this to work. Okay. Let's see. Okay. I'm trying to win. I'm trying to win. Okay. Two more beads. Well, one more bead. Did I go back through there? Yes, I did. There's that one. And that one. Whew, that was tough, y'all. Getting all that tightened up. And I'm hoping it's going to stay. Okay, don't do that. Don't. Because they're slick and the string doesn't want to. See? It's going to come apart. It's going to do the same thing. Gorilla glue. That's right, Dan. I'm going to put some Gorilla glue on it. Nobody will ever know. See how, the, see how that row wants to do? And every time I try to tighten it up, it gets even worse. So I'm fixing to tie this at the bottom and call it, ugh, it just got loose again. They're slick and the thread will not stay looped on the bead is what happens. Okay, right there. Now I got a tie knot. I'm much better working with jute. <laughs> but I don't think jute would fit through there, not twice. I'm saying a prayer and holding my breath. Because it's going to be pretty once I get it done. I'm coming for whoever told me to do the pearls. <laughs> I'm coming after you. Okay. See how it's wanting to hang though? Because they are pretty heavy. But it kind of looks neat all loopy though, doesn't it? But see, like, you know how the bead, um, the thread loops right here on this end one on both sides? It wants to slip off of there. So it doesn't want to hang right. So maybe if I used, if you use some other type of um, thread, maybe that would work. You knew I could do it, Lori. Where's my scissors? Well, it's, it's good enough, but I probably could just put some little dots of glue in between and make it work. Let's see. But those pearls are really pretty, though. I haven't used the pearls from Dollar Tree. And I've had them for a while. I just broke them out tonight because they were in the um, in my little bin with all my little bitty embellishments and stuff that I got stuff out from my trees. And I said, I'm going to get the pearls out. Yes, they are pretty. So you could make several of them with all of these if you find them. But this one was, this one was a weird color. I don't know. He's an oddball. Friendship plastic cord works great. All right, I'm gonna have to remember that. So y'all listen to what she said. She knows, cause she said she used to do them with friendship beads or something. Blue, yes, the blue and white thread, this, yes. That came from Hobby Lobby too. Yeah, I have shirts in my shop. This one's from Simple Abundance, so y'all go see them. 
which they have them. You can't get them anywhere else because they designed them. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's so stinking cute. Okay. It's lopsided. Okay. At right. <laughs> oh. See how it's lopsided? I glued <laughs> I glued him to the wrong one. Alright. I'm gonna move it. There we go. Okay. Still lopsided. Look how cute. It's not bad. It's not bad. Nobody will ever know. I couldn't do, um, <laughs> DN. You're going to make them after this disaster of this last one? <laughs> just, just do, don't do the things that I did. Do, do something different than what I did. So that way, you know that, um, what I did was a little difficult, but I got it. Um, and these little blingies are white pearls, so that wouldn't look good see what happens but it's going on my tree in there anyway my little ornament tree that I've got that. I'm just making something now to go on the top don't be so hard on yourself it's cute <laughs> it should be cute it was a it was a booger <laughs> it was a booger the pearls your favorite I just took some of this, this kind of, this came from Dollar Tree too. It's this ribbon. I know y'all probably seen it. And I just split it. And I think I'm just going to glue it to the end. Put, made a little X and I think I'm going to put it at the top. It's going in there on my tree. My little ornament, my little handmade ornament tree. Cute, cute. Okay, so here's the red. I didn't finish the uh, rick rack on, but I'll have to finish the rick rack. I'm gonna put two more pieces of rick rack. Isn't it cute? Thank you for sprinkling. Let's see. Okay, finish it real quick. That's gonna hide some of my glued together beads. So yeah, y'all let me know if y'all perfect it. Because um, obviously I did not perfect it tonight. It's going to take a little more work <laughs> than what I did. This one's going to be cute though. This Rick Rack. I love the red and the, this red and then the bright, bright green. I love it. Like the Grinch. The Grinch down in Whoville with all the Who's. And the who hash. Okay, y'all, this is cute. It looks better. Look at it. Rick Rack just is happy. Rick Rack is just happy. Isn't that cute? So, see, he's got glue on him. Maybe the Rick Rack kind of hid the glue together balls. <laughs> Aren't they cute? But it's something I have, I've had pinned for a while and I wanted to try it. And I tried it. So, you got to try new stuff. Gotta try new stuff. I have to get my heat gun and blow all these little stringers all out of the way. I'm gonna have to put a bell on it or put some kind of a tassel. Maybe a baker's twine tassel would be so cute. And then here's our other one with the moss green. I kind of did one of every little style just because everybody's different. That's moss green in the Waverly paint. And then I just put that little bow at the top. So I would love for y'all to try it and put it in the group so I can see and perfect it and tell me <laughs> tell me what you did different than I didn't do. Um, D, no, the beads the beads that came from the Dollar Tree were the pearls. They came from in a pack from Dollar Tree, and then these are just wood beads that I buy off Amazon, and I um I paint them myself, whatever color I want to. They're wood beads. They start out looking like. 
they're just plain wood and then I paint them. Um, he loves the, oh, I love the newer one too. It's good. We saw it when it came to theaters and it's really cute. Um, yeah, that would be cute with the Grinch hanging from the bottom. Mm-hmm. Now it needs some little white pom-poms on it. I could just keep going. <laughs> no wood 20. Yeah, they're 20 millimeter beads from Amazon. They're wood beads from Amazon. They are cute. Thank you, Deidre. They didn't, they wasn't amazing, but <laughs> I want y'all to make them amazing and say, this is what I did. This is how it, I made it better. Cause I know y'all will. If you try it, no, Tr Trish, it wouldn't be. If it, it can't be more of a hot mess than what I just did. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna get off. Um, can you, first time see you, can you hold it up again? The little tree? You cute. And then this one, this was the, this is um, parakeet green in apple barrel. And then this is the Waverly moss color. And then this was just the white. I just did it white. It's kind of lopsided. <laughs> oh, thank you, Patricia. I hope you stick around and uh, tap the screen and you can follow my page. I'm here um, Mondays at 7.30 Central and Fridays at 7.30 Central. Janet, my shirt is from um, a pl another crafter. They're called Simple Abundance. And... Um, they are some crafty friends of mine. They have their own page. And this is one of their shirts that they designed. And um, they sell the shirts. Thank you, Kathy. Love, love you too. All right, guys. I'm going to hop off. And I'll post pictures later. I might finish out the tassel or something on them. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go see what my family's doing. Because it feels like it's like 11 o'clock at night. Which I know it's not. Um, Y'all remember, remember to go vote tomorrow. And, um, I will see y'all Friday night and y'all have a good week. Okay. Uh, Mandy, no, I just did some, um, I just did, uh, burnt umber brown and painted them, but you could use the wax. Um, you make Reese, but you're going to try these. Cool. Thanks, Nancy. All right, guys. See you Friday, and y'all have a great week, okay, guys? Stay safe. Bye.